Hi guys, in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what messages you are being guided to right now at this particular point in time. So if you've clicked on this reading, you may be here for a reason. There's something here that pulled you to this reading. There's something here that um, guided you to this reading. It is going to be a reading for those of you that are going to resonate with it the most and a reading for those of you that do need it the most. If you are after a personal tarot reading, feel free to reach out and email. My email address is going to be listed below the video. At the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups. To the person that I'm connecting to, you are going to randomly hear from um, an ex. You're going to randomly hear from someone who's going to reach out to you out of the blue. You're going to hear this per uh, from this person either through text message or phone call, or they may even try and uh, connect with you via social media. Uh, this is someone who I feel like... This is someone who either has cut themselves off or this is someone who has distanced themselves, someone whom you disconnected with or someone who maybe you're in a no contact, no separation period with this person. Um, I feel like this experience that you've had with this individual, whether it has been a relationship, whether it has been a connection, whether this is, this person might not even necessarily be a romantic energy. It could be a, uh, it could be a connecting energy, a family member or a close friend. But this experience that you've had with this person has been incredibly painful. And this is someone who I feel like that, um, this is someone whom you were really struggling with. You were really struggling in a relationship with this person or you're really struggling to get on with this person. There's a lot of conflict here. Um, a lot of conflict and a lot of criticism that you feel with the, in this person's energy. Someone is about to get in contact with you and I feel like this is someone whom you have been thinking about and I feel like You've been expecting to hear from this person. You've been expecting their return. You've been expecting for them to reconnect. You've been expecting for them to reach out, make contact, make uh, communication. I do feel like it's someone that you're excited to hear from, even if it has been a painful experience, even if there has been a lot of turmoil and stress in your relationship. Because this is someone who I feel like maybe this person has walked away or this is a relationship that the both of you have ended because you felt like something was missing on both a spiritual and an emotional level. But you couldn't quite put your finger on it. So I do think that... There is potential in your energy, you know, you're, you're potentially excited to hear from them. You're potentially excited to possibly uh, reconnect. Be careful that even though this person is coming back, let's not forget that this is someone who broke your heart. This is someone who betrayed your trust. This is someone who you struggled with. This is someone whom you have a lot of this caused you a lot of stress. This is someone who's committed to misunderstanding you. This is someone who maybe overstepped your boundaries. This is someone whom you're constantly in disagreement with. This is someone who may have cheated on you, okay, who may have cheated on you emotionally, physically, who may even have been thinking about cheating on you. This is someone who has pierced your heart with a lot of pain. So don't, just because someone is reconnecting and someone is wanting to come back, do not forget their actions do not forget their actions that hurt you make sure you see their actions for what they were 
this is someone that is emotionally unavailable okay so if they're emotionally unavailable then what makes you think that this person is someone who's emotionally available now okay make sure you see the error of this person's way remember they decided to disconnect with you or they decided to pull away even if the both of you maybe you've both uh disconnected from the relationship but this person i feel like has pulled away for selfish reasons right there was a lot of ego and still is a lot of ego in this person's energy and yes this person is likely i think deep down inside you always knew that this person was going to was likely to make contact with you but i feel like the driving force behind them wanting to reach out to you them wanting to contact you is ego and i'll tell you why i say this um i feel like you need to see this person has been hesitant about making a comeback this person has been hesitant about reaching out to you but what they want is a bit of an ego stroke they want a bit of an ego boost this person wants to get back in control this wants this person wants to get back in control of this situation because right now they've disconnected they've pulled away and there's a separation there's a distance between the both of you right now it what this means is this person is not in control they want to be but they are not so they want for you however intense and however painful this experience has been because of these energies in the reading right i feel like this person wants to remain in control and they've wanted to wait they wanted to make you wait for a while because they want you to they want to get you a little bit nervous right i feel like they've waited they purposely waited a while before they're coming back or a while before keep uh, making contact or reaching out and um, communicating with you because i feel like this person is purposely trying to make you um trying to make you nervous i feel like this is someone who's being shady i also feel like this is someone who's egotistical and i feel like this person potentially may be coming back but not for the right reasons okay and notice how the moon has appeared twice in your reading um here the moon is trying to illustrate the moon is trying to illuminate to you and is trying to show you the true colors of this person so just because they're coming back don't forget the way that they've treated you and the way that they've treated you i feel like this person has hurt you not once not twice but i think thrice or even more times i feel like this is someone who has some this is someone who's selfish and this is someone who invests in themselves this is someone who has left you out in the cold about who they are about their intentions so again this is someone who's quite egotistical right i feel like an I also feel like this is someone who has suffered a lot of hurt and pain in their life and um, they have not dealt with that pain in a healthy way. So what they're trying to do now is like they're going around and projecting that hurt and that pain onto you. So you've been wondering whether or not this is someone that's going to get in contact with you. You've been wondering whether or not you're going to hear from this person. Um, and I feel like they felt like they've been out of control of your emotions and out of this and from this situation. Um, because you haven't been chasing them, right? You have you haven't been calling them, you haven't been texting them, you haven't been chasing after them. Um if you respond so this is someone who's coming back who's still i feel like there's something shady about this person and about their intentions and about their returns they're coming back because they need something emotionally from you no if you ask this person they won't admit to that they won't They are going to get in touch with you, but like I said, they do want their ego boosted. I feel like there was lying. I feel like there was cheating involved with this person. And I feel like this person 
the fact that may have demoted you like maybe you were they were in a relationship with you and then they turned their back on you and on this relationship and on the potential for what this relationship could be and then they've moved on to someone else now they're coming back to see if that door is still open by the way this could be someone who has ghosted you as well and it makes sense because this person is now coming back to see if the door is open uh, to see if the door to your emotions or the door to the situation or this relationship is open um, some of you i feel like are potentially going to greet this person with a closed door others of you be careful because this person couldn't commit to being with you in the first place and i feel like this is they've hurt you before this isn't the first time that they've hurt you so they couldn't commit to you in the first place what makes you think that they're able to commit to you now because there's something about this person that tells us they're not so sure this person is not so sure that they like you or they're not so sure that they don't like you they're not so sure that they want a relationship with you they're also not so sure that they don't want a relationship with you this is someone who is emotionally unavailable when someone knows that they like you they're emotionally available this person might might be coming back and they may not necessarily want a relationship with you but i feel like to be honest with you i feel like this person even must isn't even mustering up the energy to be sincere or authentic with you and i know this is probably very blunt and very to the point um but i feel like this person doesn't they don't they don't want a relationship but they also don't like to be alone i also feel like the person that they were involved with um maybe that person has walked away from them or maybe that relationship has ended and because they don't they don't want to entertain the possibility of them being on their own but at the same time they don't want a relationship and this is where i feel like this person is going to be coming in um remember that from the moment that they pulled away from the moment that this person told you that they don't know what they want they don't know what they feel for you from that moment this person was already communicating to you that they're emotionally unavailable they were already communicating to you that they don't know what it is that they want right um they were communicating to you that you're not in alignment with one another that you're not on the same page and rather than and especially when this when the situation when there's something here that happened like shifted in the relationship rather than stick to the relationship and do everything in their power to make it work this person opted out this person ran so when this person is coming back when this person is going to reconnect or try and reconnect with you or perhaps they already have perhaps that's why you're here you're watching this video because you resonate with the fact that someone recently has reached out to you just completely random and out of the blue um you still might be heavily emotional uh, sorry you still may be heavily emotionally invested in this person and in the situation and in what they've done to you um but just be careful that you're not conducting the future of this relationship with that person in mind in your imagination okay because there's something about this there's something about the energies that tells us this there's the truth of what this situation is and there's the imagination of what this could have been or what this person could have been like someone he showed you their true colors you didn't believe them you didn't want to believe them you gave them the benefit of the doubt um so what I'm trying to say is someone is coming back and someone is trying to reconnect with you, but this per this person, they're not who you, they're not who you want them to be. And they're certainly not who they pretend to be. This is someone who is just so busy getting on with their life. Like even when the relationship fell apart, 
that they did not put in the work. They did not value the relationship enough to put in the work, to try and make it work. Um, this is not the fairy, okay? This is not the fairy tale type of love that you want and that you deserve. This is not, let me tell you, the energies here strongly indicate that this is not the type of lover that you deserve. This is not the type of a relationship that you deserve. And this is them not just because they show up randomly out of the blue. And just because you've been getting a lot of signs and synchronicities around this person or you've been like the universe has been communicating something to you about this person it's not the right moment like this is not them showing up at the right moment um to come in and sweep you off your feet i feel like the reason why you might have been getting signs around this person is because the universe was trying to give you a heads up i also feel like the universe is trying to test you the universe is allowing this person to reappear in your life not because the universe wants you to re-experience or experience more struggle more stress and more pain with this person the universe is testing you the universe is testing you to see if you have learned the lesson the, the first time because i feel like this person you've given this person an opportunity to hurt you on more than one occasion why would you give them another opportunity to hurt you especially if this person doesn't demonstrate any change and for to the person that i'm connecting to let me let me tell you that this is someone who still needs to work on themselves this is someone who needs to go ahead and do the shadow work the inner work this is someone who needs to heal this is someone who is they're not who they pretend to be, okay? They could be an enemy that is masquerading as a lover. They could be a full-time lover, uh, sorry, a casual, a part-time lover masquerading as a full-time lover. Like this person is not who they say they are. They cannot be trusted. And you know that because they've broken your trust in the past. So you know that this person cannot be trusted. Um, if this is someone who comes back and puts both their feet into the relationship and you can see that they've changed and you can see that their actions support what they're saying well that's a different narrative and this is not you know this is not the reading uh the energies that we're looking at but if if it's someone who comes back and promises you the world but only gives you a little crumb i mean the signs are all there this is someone who has, I feel like, has they have a tendency to disappear on you or they have disappeared on you in the past. And each time I feel like the door was open for them in the past. So this is them trying to test you, trying to test your boundaries, trying to see if the doors are going to be open to them. If so... They're going to walk right through it and possibly step all over your emotions again, especially if this person isn't changed. I just feel like this is someone who's coming back because they have something that's missing in their life. They may be missing, you know, getting their ego boosted. They may be missing your attention. They may be missing the emotions that you've invested in them and in the relationship. Um, there's something that they want from you that you can give them. And it does come from like an egotistical, um, it, from the egotistical energy. So although this is someone who is coming back and someone who is trying to reconnect and someone who I feel like you've been expecting to hear from, someone whom you've been expecting to pop back up into your life, it's kind of like the universe is giving you an opportunity either for closure or to call this person out. I don't think there is, especially if this person doesn't, hasn't demonstrated any change in their behavior towards you and towards the relationship towards resolving things if this person comes back a changed man or a changed woman well it's a different story right and this is in your reading but this reading is especially for those of you who keep dealing with the same person essentially or who keep dealing with the same problem you're dealing with the same problem because there's so much cyclical energy here like this is someone who Especially with the magician's energy, this is someone who can't be trusted. Um, and you can't trust what they say. And I don't think you can trust how they make you feel because it is built on a tower of illusions. And I think that they've proved that to you. 
And again, this person is reconnecting because they're missing something, because they don't have something, and they want to. They want to get their fix from you. And once you give it to them, and they're good, they're going to disappear again, just like they have in the past. This person is prone to cyclical behavior, to patterns of behavior that have been hurtful, that have been emotionally uh, difficult, that ha that you've been struggling with, and that they're struggling with as well. I feel like this is someone who's self-sabotaging, self-deprecating. I feel like it's someone who, um, someone who's struggling internally. You are not on the same page as this individual. You are not on the same as a, on the same page as this individual. As soon as this individual finds out that what you want with them is something serious, that you want a relationship with. From this person or you want them to uh, be respectful and mindful of boundaries um, or that you need or expect something from them i feel like they'll be gone again i feel like this person is going to vanish again i feel like this person is going to go distant again is going to go cold is going to pull away is going to act strange weird this person is then going to just go back to the person that you're familiar with so this is your message to you to not allow yourself the opportunity to not let yourself down and don't allow yourself the opportunity to get disappointed by this person again this is a strong reminder from the universe that there is someone who's reconnecting with you very soon if they haven't already but i feel like this is only going to end up in disappointment and i feel like this is only going to end up in heartbreak so take this as a warning this isn't going to be everyone's reading this is especially not your reading if the person that you are reconnecting with has changed if the person that you are reconnecting with is you know has got both their feet in this situation is doing everything in their power to resolve things with you to make things work then that's a different story but the energy that i'm picking up on strongly they there's malicious intention there's a hidden agenda there's an energy of illusion there's someone who's not being honest with you and even if you try and call them out, like them coming back is because they want something from you. But if you ask them, no way will they admit that to you. So trust the energies that don't lie, okay? Don't listen to what your ego is telling you or what you want to hear. Really listen, really try and tune into the energies because energies, vibes, that stuff, it doesn't lie. All right, guys, this, this is your messages. Thanks for your time, your attention and your energy uh keep shining your light please show your support to the channel by liking and subscribing it helps the channel to grow bye for now